Hi, today I'm doing a channeled message. I've already done the spread, so it's a little bit different than normal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through it and hopefully it will resonate with you. I'd love to hear your comments, like, share, subscribe, it means the world to me. If you'd like your own personal private reading or channeled message or twin flame check, you can find me on Fiverr where my gigs start at $5 or on Patreon. Um, where I talk about the feminine energy and how to use it to come into union and just to make your life better to get out of that twin flame hell. And then on TikTok, I did the short overview of this message. So last week I talked about the masculines would be coming forward with a sexual offer. And many of you have validated this and, um, so, here we go, my beloved. <sighs> Neither of us were healing. Neither of us were moving forward. You were chasing and I was running and we were in separation. And then I found my karmic my latest karmic. I thought that it was love, but it wasn't. It was like anything but love. It hurt me, not in a triggered way, but in a way that damaged me again. Yes, it taught me lessons. It taught me that I've always kept a lot of options. So I wouldn't really have to try. If someone became a problem, I just cut them out of my life and moved on. It wasn't fair and it wasn't evolved. It was cowardly. But recently, I've realized something. I realized that I'm running out of time with you. You're moving on. And I feel like our connection, the connection I've always felt between our sacral chakra is disappearing. I know that spirit's been trying to get my attention so many ways and I've resisted it. I resisted becoming the bigger version of myself. I resisted all of the healing of the wounds that I had. I just felt like if I kept And all to myself, things would work out. But then I, one day I woke up and I realized I didn't have what I wanted. Like the passion that I had felt with you, that when we were together last time, when we were alone, when we had a minute away from everybody just to be together was insane it was a feeling i can't explain and from then i knew something was different and i want to tell you that but right now i'm too scared right now i'm just coming forward with sexual energy and you're gonna have to make yourself be unique and stand out. I know it's not fair. I just, the way I've operated is that I just have a lot of girls that feed my ego. And now I want you. Like my heart is longing for you, but I can't manifest you. 
I'm scared of this twin flame word and I'm scared of relationships and marriage. I'm scared of knowing that you're my mirror and that I'm terrified that I will never feel this passion again because you'll just take it away from me and I will be devastated. Yeah, I could manifest money. I could manifest other women or almost anything else I want, but what I want is you. What I want is for you to come towards me. And I bet you can feel me trying to get you to come to me. Because I don't want to be vulnerable and I don't want to do the work. I don't want to be the chaser. It's easier with the karmic because I don't have to deal with any of this stuff. I don't have to deal with being stable or emotions or healing or worrying about judgment from other people. I don't have to try to ascend or try to become some better version of myself, some transformed, changed, growth minded person that I have no idea how to be and I know I'll fail at. <coughs> I'm just too scared to even talk about it. When I talk to you, all I do is just talk about things I know will get a response out of you and that are safe. Anyway, I really, really miss you. I really wish this was easier. I wish I was stronger. <coughs> I wish I could ask you out on a date. Like a real date. Where I moved this forward. And we talked about our feelings for each other. I can feel you're kind of scared of it too. Because I don't know how to say it, but I can't fully get over my addictions, even though I have been trying. I don't know. Part of me sees myself that way. And I don't know who I would be without it. Like, what would people think if I was just a spiritual twin flame, sage master guru that was free from all my limitations? Like, who would I be? That's not me, that's you. You're the one that knows everything and can see through everything and I'm just a guy. I'm just here. I don't even feel like I'm a very good masculine energy. Or, you know, I'm weak most of the time. I know I'm not giving you what you want. I know I'm not getting stronger. And I rely on tricks and sex and maybe dangling romance in front of you. That's what I want. I want that romantic, caring, passionate connection with spiritual, physical, mental, emotional. I want all that. I just don't think I can have it. So I come at you with sexual energy because you know at least then you'll probably tell me hey no I want something more and I don't have to be in the position to get rejected <sighs> this is what I'm hiding
my overflowing love for you. I can't just come out and say it. That you're my world, you're my passion. I have to keep it hidden right now. But it's the truth. You're the other half of me. I love you.